So recently Randomopolis TCG made a challenge to all TCG creators to make one to make a card game for one week. What's up, Slay Nation? My name is Lost Lane Nexus and welcome back to another TCG video. Um today I'm going to be showing you guys what I have made for Randomopolis TCG's um challenge. So the one week card game challenge. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I have in store for you. So this card game is actually uh, actually made already, uh, but to to prevent cheating, uh, I decided not to to change things up a bit. I had, a, uh, I had an old card game back then. Uh, it was called the Game of Hover. It wasn't it wasn't anything like Micro Galaxy and Galaxy Empires. It was just a plain old card game. But the thing is. I didn't even know how to play it. I didn't even know how to strategize. I didn't even know the abilities and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I basically didn't know how to play my own game. So, game of hover right here. So, these these papers right here, these are the cards. These are just made out of... Let's set this down here for a sec. Uh, these, these cards... Let's fix it up. There you go. These cards here, these, these are just made of normal paper. Um, intermediate paper I just folded them up I just folded them up just to make it thick you know the, these guys were sort of the beginning of what I I had a hobby of which is making card games and stuff like that so yeah uh, I decided to change things up a bit so yeah I'm gonna show you guys right now what I what I mean by that so here is what I had in store uh, I decided to do sketches and stuff like that before I before I do the card game and stuff. So um the basic goal of the game. Wait, before before I tell you the goal of the game, there's actually a story, story to it. So back then there was this uh gigantic spaceship um uh, where all creatures and aliens live together happily. So it, it was basically like planet Earth but for creatures inside a gigantic spaceship. And there were escape pods there called Versus. So this one right here this is the Versa 30. This is the 30th uh, escape pod. And there was uh, like a hundred escape pods there in that gigantic spaceship. And suddenly there was some sort of malfunction in the gigantic spaceship which caused the it, spaceship to explode. So all the other creatures went inside the escape pods. The different kinds of escape pods which are different kinds of Versas. Um, and of course escape that uh, situation but all of them landed into one specific planet which is called planet polemos polemos in greek is war so i decided to call it planet polemos rather than planet war because it sounds more epic right so all of those creatures there um they all stayed in that planet but all their escape pods were gone you know except for one which was the versa 30 so all the creatures decided to fight each other just to get this pod. But the pod, the escape pod, had different pieces scattered around a planet Polemos. So the basic goal of the game is to destroy other creatures, to get pieces, to build your spaceship, and leave planet Polemos before planet Polemos explodes as well. So I forgot to tell you planet Polemos was about to explode because it's old. It's an old planet, so yeah. Well, it just goes on and on forever so that's that's the basic goal of the game but in order to get these pieces you need points or coins or what I like to say points yeah so you get points from killing opponents so each point each point you get from killing is 10 10 points for a kill for example here a uh, co connector you need 10 10 points to buy the connector and front wing you need 10 points as well but and the motor is 50 points while the cockpit is 30 points but not only can you buy parts you can also buy crates supply crates and weapons so right here this is supply crate it's called supply love which actually gives you health to your creature and control pad which also provides weapons and stuff like that so here's some sketches for for versa 30 i decided to go with this one since it's, it looks cooler <laughs> yeah so, um, it's two players, um, two or more players, uh, so each opponent has three, three, three creatures, 
depends depends on how many I'm still working on the game so I'm a little muffled around here so uh, this is one of them this is hover version one and let's move this aside here <coughs> this is hoverbot the same um, I'm sorry this is hoverbot the same the same as the hover version one here and Kanemoto steak and this is Toretto so these guys right here they're going to be the basis creatures for the game of hover and right here uh, I decided to do a little sketch on the template for the card so what I used for the template is index cards no lines 3 by 5 you you guys can buy this at your local craft shop or something and yeah this is the template for it um, up here you can see that um, there there are health points these are the lives so uh, the maximum lives or hearts is five so let's put this down here that way we won't have a hard time so the maximum the maximum health points is five so yeah I just tried to put that up here and there's a circle right here which is common and this is the type which is warrior and this is the information and this is where your art is going to be the art and right here just like micro galaxy I decided to add bars how good it is going to be in your deck but the thing is that there's not gonna be any deck so I don't know what to use this for because you're just going to randomly pick cards so out of one deck so yeah I won't be doing this thing daily um, I'll I guess I'll be giving you guys updates on on whether or not I'm going to do the videos I'm, I'm going to be talking about this so I'm not done with micro galaxy I'm still working on set 2 uh, I just want to finish the challenge of Randomopolis TCG. So, yeah, uh, that's all for now, guys. Um, I'll see you guys next time or probably another updated video on the card game. So, yeah, that was this. I don't even know. Get out of there. So, yeah, uh, that's all for now, guys. Now, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.